when talking about your recent production, Coach said it was as much of a battle for you in recovery to learn how to do things other than score and become a more complete player. How much of that was, you know, a mental journey for you other than physical? Um, it was definitely tough uh, uh, at one point where I didn't um, well, I look at myself as an offensive player and I want to produce uh, and score goals and and points and uh, um, I didn't do that for for a while during the season and it was obviously frustrating um, but I feel like it's something that um, I can look back to and, and learn from it and um, um, it definitely um, I feel like I'm a more complete player. I feel like I've taken steps um, this year, um, even like without the puck and uh, even with the puck. Uh, I think I feel like I'm creating more now, five on five, and uh, I think that was the uh, my previous years probably my biggest uh, issue that I didn't really produce as much five on five. Um, scored more most goals on the power play, and I feel like this year it's been. Been almost more more five on five than on the power play, and uh, so I feel like I've I've been taking uh, a step forward. Is this the most uh, bizarre up and down route to a twenty goal season you could have imagined? Probably, yeah. Um, I, I definitely had a great start um, before my injury. Uh, I feel like I played some great hockey. Uh, and then I had had a tough time uh, coming back after that, and uh, but I feel like the last last couple of months I've been been really uh, feeling better, and um, the goals been been starting to come, and um, I feel feel just better in every aspect of the game, and um, so so when I look back uh, um, after the season, I, I still feel like I can um, hopefully be be proud of what I've uh, what I've done. Um, even if I, um, for, for a long time, didn't didn't score and produce. How comfortable are you guys with Don shifting? I mean, he said he's going to give you guys some more looks the last few games. But, you know, when he moves the lines around, it doesn't seem to really bother you guys that much, and you are learning to play with each other. Yeah, um, and I feel like we've been we've been moving um, the lines a lot this year, uh, especially with all the injuries and guys out uh, with COVID and, and stuff like that. So it's... Uh, uh, I feel like I've been been playing with every single guy on the team. Um, so so now um, I feel like whoever he he puts you with, you still got some kind of chemistry with the guy. Um, so uh, I feel like as a team we're very very confident, and, and at the moment it doesn't feel like it, it matters too much uh, the which lines he put together. You guys have a back to back here with Philly. Kind of marks the end of this incredible stretch of a month where you haven't had more than one day off. What's it going to be like next week? Do you think just to have a day off, have a practice day without a game the next day? You're going to have a different mindset going on. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, it, it gives us time to practice too a little bit more, um, and hopefully uh, rest our bodies a little bit. It's been a it's been a tough month, and um, it's just. Maybe get get a day or two to kind of um, just relax and get your mind uh, off hockey a little bit. Uh, they usually um, um, does pretty pretty well during the season, so um, uh, it's it's gonna be nice for sure. And then we're gonna be fresh uh, for these last upcoming weeks. What does Rasmus Asplund do defensively that frustrates opponents? Uh, I feel like he's he's reading the game very well. Um, he's He's uh, stealing a lot of pucks uh, all over the ice. Uh, he's he's great in the D zone. He's even great great on the forecheck, um, winning a lot of pucks back for us. And um, I feel like that that's probably uh, why he's so good at it. He just reads the game very well. Uh, he's not the not the biggest guy out there, and uh, he's maybe not throwing his body around too much. But um, he he just reads the game very well and um, just. Picks up a lot of pucks, um, so yeah. Do you think he gets under opponent's skin just because I don't know if he's a pest per se, but he's just his motor is always going. Always oh going. yeah, oh yeah, um, and absolutely, he's working very hard as well. I mean, you can can definitely add that to his game too, and um, he just does everything. Um, the right way. Um, he doesn't cheat the game at all um, at any point. So, um, and I, I feel like it's really starting to show here the last couple of months of how how good of um, 
defensive player, yes, and uh, I also think that he's been, been taking um, a step forward in his uh, offensive game, and he's been uh, creating a lot of chances and uh, scoring here lately too, so uh, it's just fun to see. Thanks, guys.